Okay, this little tutorial is going to run through how to compare two numbers in Visual Basic. So we've got a little example of the program here. So you enter in two numbers, click the compare button, and it will give you a message telling you which one, if number one is larger than num the second number, if they're the same, or if the second number is larger than the first. So we're just going to run through how to create that. So first step, create a new project. And you need to add in the various elements. So what we need is two text boxes, a couple of labels and a button. Now skip to his here and I've renamed the visual appearance and also change the name of the variables of these objects. So if we look at the text box for number one, if we scroll down in the properties section, down to design, you can see I renamed that txt underscore number one. Number two button, once again very similar, txt underscore number two, and I renamed the button to button underscore compare. Now all the code we're going to add is going to be on, to, on the compare button. So if you double click on the compare button, we go into the code editing, so you should get a new subroutine. Button compare click, button underscore compare click. Now we need to get the information from this. We need to first pull out the two floating point numbers from number one number two, so we need to create two variables. So dim, and give those a name. I'm going to call them number one and number two and double so that we can store decimal numbers. So we've got dim number one and number two. Now we need to pull that information out. So I'm going to do number one is assigned to. Now I need to get the information from that text box. So I'm going to do txt number one dot text but what I also need to do is convert this into a number. So I'm going to use the convert function dot to double and then put inside the brackets that txt number one dot text. So whatever's been typed into this box here will be converted into a number. Then we'll do the same for number two. Now, what we need to do is now compare. This is going to be a new concept. We're going to use an if-else statement to do some selection. So if number one is less than number two, then we're going to print out a message. And we'll just run this single program to see what happens. So I put four and five. And we get the less than message. If we do any of the other options, nothing will happen because we haven't coded those in yet. What we'll then do? An else if, which gives us another option. So we might have number one is greater than number two, then more than. Otherwise, equal to. So now if we try this, if we put two numbers to the same, we should get the equal to message. If number two is smaller, we should get more than. If number one is less than number two, we should get our less than message. So that's now conditional branching. What we have is very simple conditional formatting. Obviously we can add as many different conditions as possible. And what we'll be looking at later on is how to use this when pressing different key commands.